Hello, this is Dred Scott, coming to you on the YouTube channel Efficacy, brought to you by Fiona B. at the Bloom Effect. Ho, 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 Okay, question number one. Uh, I'm going to answer uh, when I knew I wanted to be a musician, because to answer when I knew I wanted to be an artist I mean everybody's a fucking artist you know that's just a really annoying term for anybody that's not actually an artist like a painter or a sculptor or a you know that sort of thing I mean to convey the word art onto what a musician does I don't know I'd just rather let somebody else do that uh, but I can say uh, that I never was really uh, sure about when I wanted to be a musician. It just kind of happened gradually as I expanded my efforts to not have an actual job. Um, and then one thing led to another and I never really needed a job. So that's how I became a musician. the highlight of my life <sighs> well that would have to be the road trip I took from northern Morocco to Accra Ghana with a couple of friends last year <sighs> that's a big highlight that uh, maybe the highest highlight although I didn't get high for three weeks That's a highlight. Hmm, if I could perform with anyone posthumously, um, I'd say a tie between Miles and Hendrix. Now, if there was a language I wish I could speak, I think it'd be Spanish. Which reminds me, I love that Spanish app on my iPhone. Helps me learn Spanish. Now, if there were only three things I could take to a desert island, one would have to be plenty of weed, two, I guess a surfboard, because I'd have plenty of time to learn how to surf, something I've always wanted to learn how to do, and three, I think uh, some paper and a pen, if that's not, if that can be just one thing, that's what I'd take. Hmm, if I could sleep with anyone, anyone, that's a hard question. I'd have to say Grace Kelly. Hitchcock said, Oh, that Grace, she fucked everybody. And that's hot, because she sure didn't look like she did. That would be hot. Grace Kelly. Who are my favorite artists on the scene? Now, I know you don't mean artist artists like Cindy Sherman or Jedediah Cesar or Rita Ackerman. Those are some artist artists that I like. Um, but if you mean musicians, um, I would be Bill McHenry, um, Andrew D'Angelo, Carol Lipnick. Um, I love the Xylophokes. Uh, who else? I love uh, Carol Lipnick. Um, Jim Campolongo was a favorite of mine. Uh, I loved Brian Charette's playing. It's really great. Uh, ah, that's all I could think of at the moment. But there's lots of them. This is my mom, and she's making one of my favorite treats, sweet treats, caramel bars. Love my, love me some caramel bars. Uh... What are some more of my favorite sweets, Mom? Um, the, uh, um... I love those, uh, with the, the Hershey's Kisses yeah, in the center of the called? cookies. Yeah, what are those called? There's like, you thumb put Hershey's... The thumbprints? Thumb thumb yeah. Is that what they're called? Thumb I love lemon bars, chocolate chip cookies. Um, what are some other... What, peanut have, brittle? You what? ate, yeah, you ate up all of the, uh, lemon bars. I ate the lemon bars, so well, I can't have any more. 
Terry and the rest of them. My brother ate the lemon bars. Uh, these are going to be caramel bars, though. These are my favorite, I think, sweet of all. So, um, mm, I can't wait. My favorite word is fuck. What would I do with a million dollars? Retire. I love spicy food, but as I get older, it doesn't love me so much. <laughs> wasabi, I love wasabi. I love chili. I love curry. I love kimchi. Doesn't have to be like super, super, super spicy. That's, you know, burns your tongue. You can't taste shit. But I like a nice kick. A little some barbecue with a little kick. You know. Oh, I forgot the gumbo. I love me some nice gumbo. Last question. Do I have any advice for up and coming musicians? I would say if you've got something better to do, you should probably do it. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks to Fiona B. and the Bloom Effect, Dred Scott signing off on the YouTube channel Efficacy.